Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more Mass Effect 2. Now, the last episode, we did a few things. We probed a number of planets. We got some more, we got some more resources, we got some good stuff. But the big thing that we did was we went and visited the Normandy crash site. The final resting place for not our current Normandy, but the original Normandy. The one that was destroyed at the beginning of the game by what could possibly be the Collectors. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember if the Elusive Man knew. But either way, we went to the crash site, we walked around, we collected all the dog tags of unfortunately the 20 missing people. And no, no survivors. Which was really sad. And then just kind of seeing the the key locations of the ship, it's just like the bridge and Mako and just every everything it was so sad. And then we saw we got we got Presley's log, like his personal journal, right? And some of the stuff that he said in the first game, but then just kind of like the last entry being sort of a a kind of self-reflection and growth for him kind of not being so um, against the other races right and it was it was I don't know it was wholesome to read and it just it sucks more that he's gone and the rest of the crew right and just seeing it and and I think about it right like I've I've only just played Mass Effect maybe not that long ago like the first one right I can't imagine like if you if you're playing this like at the time that these were coming out and you finish Mass Effect 1 right and it had been like so I don't even know the time between 1 and 2 right as like the player right as you like you guys waiting for it right Mass Effect 2 comes out and then it starts you with the Normandy and you're like yeah and then boom they destroy it in front of you and then you go look at the crash site and it's like you haven't seen this ship in years since you finished the first game right and I, I imagine that scene was a little it hits a lot harder right I mean it hit hard for me that sucked to see it like it was kind of like I don't know it felt more real like it's like shit really is gone but that's what we did and we went around, we probed a bunch more planets, and now we're back on the Citadel. And the second we arrived, as we were um, preparing to head towards to go speak with the council, the, um, we were contacted by an advertisement that is now gone, right? It was like a hologram ad. And it was talking to us, asking for a password. And it was very strange, but it knew... It knew we were Shepard. And upon conversing with it, it turns out that was... Actually... The, uh... The Incredible Thief, Kasumi. And she's here. Obviously, we were going to recruit her here. And she was waiting for us. And so, now not only have we made contact, we've talked... She seems pretty cool, right? She's a good... She's she's an incredible thief. And so... Having her on our team is great. But of course, just like with Zaid, There's a catch. <laughs> there's a catch. And that is... Um, she was promised help on one of her... Um, one of her personal... Personal missions. And that is going after this one dude... Who killed her old partner. And... That is actually here. Yeah. So, so basically this guy, Donovan Hawk, real, real bad dude. Not great. Not good. Um, he, he essentially, uh, basically, basically her, her partner, KG, he learned some information that was so impactful, such a big deal, so, so dangerous to learn that he was convinced that it was enough to start like a galactic war over but that information got him killed by hawk 
And now, the only remains of whatever he possibly learned is in his gray box, right? And we have to go recover that. And it's sort of like his neural implant is what the gray box is, and it's essentially this... It's all of his, like, memories and everything. And he encrypted, in a way, the... The, uh, the knowledge that he learned inside of that, in those memories. And so Kasumi needs it in order to decipher all that, right? And plus it's her partner, right? So it's like, it's also just for closure and the right thing to do. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that at some point. Obviously we're going to do Zaid's too, right? We're doing everything. Nothing left behind. <laughs> but that is, that's where we're at. And we just caught up on all the local news that's going around. Some callbacks to the last game was pretty cool. Some of the events that we've done in this game so far, also pretty cool. Um, and just kind of back here is going to be very interesting. <laughs> back on the Citadel. But... I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. All right. Can I help you, sir? <sighs> I mean, I guess that, it, uh, to be fair, that's also... She did assume that he had a biotic amp. Like, he, she didn't... Uh, Oof. Yikes. It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Do you think a Geth would stand out? Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Assumptions are dangerous? Yeah, let's not be assuming. Alright. Thanks for your time. Next. Oof. Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Well, alright, let's walk in. Oof. Okay. A lot of security. <laughs> Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. <laughs> That's amazing. Technically, I was. I'm not surprised. <laughs> this is annoying. Like... Part of me wants to say I'm not surprised. Technically, I was. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Oh, excellent. Okay. So in the in the system, we're we're dead. Technically, that's You'll wild. have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. All right. C-Sec. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. <laughs> he already knows. Identifying me. Can you fix it? And I like it that way. Not gonna lie, being technic I imagine actually being dead is probably a lot more beneficial. Maybe. I don't know, I actually didn't think about that much. Because it's like, it could be, right? Because nobody knows, so they don't suspect it. They don't suspect shepherds out there doing things. But you're not worried on some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. God damn. 
That's... That's impressive. Leave it alone. Can you fix it? Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Bruh. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. <laughs> that, that, I like this plan. But the way he says it's a popular tax dodge, that's really funny because that's totally believable. Oh my god. Is that legal? Seems a bit irregular. Do it. Do it. Leave it alone. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. Damn. So, you're... you're... Seems a bit irregular. Do it. <sighs> yeah, we'll take it. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. Yeah, that's my plan. Screw the Council. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> How do I get there from here? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Uh, I guess that makes sense, sure. That's my plan. Screw the council. I would just for the kids, but I don't... Mm. I don't know, they've kind of been... They've kind of been fucking us over. At least from what we've been hearing. <laughs> I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Ooh, investigate. Oh shit, we can learn things. Let's go. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Damn. Damn, so they really... They really haven't even completely recovered from that. Even, even... We're two years later. Like, over two years later. Right? They're still recovering from that. That's crazy. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Yep. <laughs> Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Salarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. Oh my god. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Ah, oh, damn, we got everybody here. Interesting. So that means... Some decent exploration? Hopefully? Maybe? I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. Damn. <sighs> Shit. Humans in CSEC. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. 
The CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Damn. I, I mean, hey. When you need them. Damn, interesting. I should be going. <laughs> you need anything else, let me know. Shit. The fact that even CSEC changed, that's wild. Got out of here. This, this is definitely a different section than where we've been before. <laughs> Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. <laughs> this is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC Security Cordon. The Alliance Embassy has issued a travel advisory for human visitors to the Citadel. Would you like to hear it now? You know, why not? We're already here. <laughs> Let me hear the travel advisory. Due to recent adjustments to the Council, humans may find aliens on the Citadel less friendly than usual. Alliance citizens are advised to limit their time in non-human sectors. Group travel is strongly recommended. If you feel you are being followed or threatened, Talk to any nearby CSEC officer, or contact the embassy through the station network. Oh god, what have I done? That makes it sound like there are anti-human race riots going on. There have been 26 incidents of large-scale civil disorder aboard the Citadel in the past two years. Many non-human residents huh. disagree with the Alliance-led restructuring of the Council, and wish a return to the status quo. Okay. Sounds bad. That's pretty bad. That's like 26 in two years. That's literally like two incidents. Or that, well, two years is 24. That's like one incident a month at least. That's bad. That explains Holy the shit. tension on the station. Is the Alliance doing anything to calm the population? Any further information has been deemed inflammatory by the Office of Information Management. Be advised that your inquiry has been forwarded to Citadel Security. If approached by uniformed officers, please cooperate fully. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, they just passed our, our... We just asked a question and they're like, yeah, we sent that to the police. So if they, if they find you, they just cooperate. Oh, God. Oh, God, I fucked this up. I did. Oh shit! The alliance-led council has just pissed everyone else off, and it's like restore the status quo. And I did. It wasn't even about making humans superior. It was like putting them on the same playing field because it seemed. Well, the rest of the council basically just treated humanity like lesser, right? So. Uh, I guess I was too naive, and I thought rebuilding the council would allow all of them to be equal footing. There seemed to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. As I'm, uh, carrying weapons. How charmingly fascist. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, did it work? So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. Okay. Okay, so violent crime is down by 23%. Regular crime, we don't know. But property crime, down by 41. This shit has gotten wild in these two years. Oh my god. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. 
Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Taser reward. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, like this was built prior to. Like the Asari were the first people to find the Citadel, so like the Citadel already existed. So like, repairing it, repairing something that you didn't build, is one thing, right? And I imagine it's all the keepers doing it, right? Like as far as the the actual repairs go, like debris removal, I'm sure is like everyone, but. I mean, maybe they're repairing too. I don't know. We'll find out. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. Mimetic Engineering <laughs> Council blames Geth. Lies to cover up Reapers. Keeps public from panicking. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what it is. I hate it. <laughs> God damn. I knew the second we were like, hold on, no, no, the Reaper Sovereign ran it. And they're like, I don't know what that is. What's a Reaper? That, mm -mm, that's a myth. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. Oh, well, I certainly need to pick up some of those then. That's all for now. <laughs> Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Love it. We get some delay, 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 <laughs> delay. Sanasi, hello. Oh, I should talk to you before I do any shopping. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. <laughs> One endorsement. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Oh. All right. <laughs> Can I purchase something? No, 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 no. Hold on. No, I don't do that. You go You go to the thing. I'm just here for everything else. Goddamn. That's the future. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Oh boy. Accuse her of classism? Holy shit, that's wild. Oh my god. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former specter. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? <laughs> My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. <laughs> I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Holy shit, that's funny. Oh my god. What do I need to do? Oh yeah, just, just endorse it in here. This is my favorite store. I love this place. Shop here. That was amazing. Holy shit. That was great. <laughs> A space hamster? The small furry rodent looks up to you with what seems like a knowing smile? Is this Boo? <laughs> Are you Boo? Th can I? Well, I mean, I'm not going to seven, six. How am I not going to buy the space hamster? I don't know if it is, but his name is Boo now. I'm naming him Boo. <gasps> I can purchase fish. It is real. Large spine fish common to the lakes of Ilium. Purchase some scald fish? Yes. <laughs> Normandy SR1. Aw. It's a model of our of the first Normandy. Yeah. 
What is this? Destiny Ascension? Oh. Small model of the Asari Dreadnought destroyed while defending the Citadel against the Geth. God, they really just gonna remind me of what I did. I understand. But, that's cool. That's cool we got the models of both. <laughs> and it makes sense that they would have the models, right? They were the two big ships involved in defending the Citadel. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. <laughs> you love ships. You like ships. <laughs> Delivery to your cabin pending. He hangs out in my room? That's amazing. I can't wait. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. c -Sec won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> they think we're dangerous. Yeah. Bastards, we should kill them. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay, it's a cafe. <gasps> Can I buy stuff here? I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Damn. Big, big, big... Statements. High grade provisions. That just looks like really good sushi. Or decent sushi. <laughs> Various quality cuisine items used to prepare diplomatic dinners aboard starships. Well, I mean, just in case, high grade provisions, because we need that for our boy, the Mesdex. So he can provide fine, fine food for the crew. Now, Ascension novel. Written by human author Drew Carpishin. 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 The popular military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human civilist survivalist cult Cerberus. Oh, that's interesting. All the lives warped or destroyed by Cerberus. Five dollars. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Revelations novel. Revelation is a popular military historical novel written by human writer Drew that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. Oh, the beginning of it all. Neat. Can I read those later? Yes, we're going to deliver the ingredients. Oh, they are codex entries. Sweet. I gotta make time for Codex at some point. Because there's a couple things we can look at in the Codex, I'm sure. Solar Electronics. Check the news a little later. So we just checked it. Uh, Dark Star. What's up, guys? Um, eh. We need to go... We gotta see the Council. Let's go to the council and then then we'll take some time after after dealing with the council so we can just kind of like focus and kind of cruise around right probably gonna need to cool off after talking to them anyway so <laughs> uh it was there it is son of a bitch Shepherd. Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. Hell yeah, I did. It's good to see you again. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting too. Unfortunately, they rarely what? listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Wow, the other Council members don't even listen to you? This is such bullshit. This is like the worst decision I made in the first game. <laughs> like, genuinely. Holy hell. I screwed everything up. Uh. Damn. No. I regret nothing about making you 
on the council. That's for damn sure, right? But you're always going to be Captain Anderson, even if you're counselor. You were the right choice. Get needed to help you. What's this about? Uh, no, you were the right choice. Nobody said this was going to be easy, but I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great. Get Udina to help you. The ambassador knows how to play politics. Just tell him what you need and let him figure out how to push it through. Unfortunately, that usually involves pissing off the rest of the council. They veto my suggestions and nothing changes. Truth is, Jeez. I just don't have the knack for compromising my principles. A bad trait for a counselor. I honestly, it's a refreshing trait, honestly. But yes, it's clearly not resonating. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe get the council to see things from your point of view, but they refuse to see you. You let the previous council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Oh, God. He's not wrong. That actually looks really bad. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, like, seriously, after... After doing this and then joining servers, it it does completely look... Oh, no. That's bad. I understand. I'm trying to save humanity. This isn't about servers. The Alliance abandoned me. Ugh. God damn it. I'm trying to save humanity. This isn't about servers. The Alliance is ab The Alliance abandoned me. Oof. Mm. Like, we are trying to save humanity, but I don't... I, it's not about humanity, right? It's, everyone is probably eventually a victim in this, right? Especially just going based on Reapers in general, not even about the Collectors right now. Just the overarching Reaper threat, right? This is not about Cerberus. I kind of want to say this, though. This just feels like a very strong response. Ugh. What did you expect? You left me for dead. Turned your back on me, just like you've done to our missing colonist. We thought you were dead. As soon as I heard different, I sent you that message. Whew. I know you, Shepard. I know you wouldn't work for Cerberus without a good reason. Something more is going on here. <laughs> yeah, this isn't about Cerberus. I need your help. The Reapers are moving again, but not through the Geth. It's the Collectors. They're behind the colony abductions. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. I hate it. It's so... I... I know it's easier if they live in denial and they don't accept it, because then the problem's a lot smaller and it goes away. But... Oh my god. Are they blind? <laughs> What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. You're saying it's hopeless? Can you help me at all? Some things never change. It's not personal. I'm not mad at Anderson. I need that to mean... I'm... I'm... I get it. But... It's not him. It's the rest of the council that's... Fucking... Being ridiculous. It's not like you to give up, Anderson. I haven't given up. But I have to be realistic. 
Even as a counselor, there's only so much I can do. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, oh, you're shit. still a hero to humanity. And the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> All right, so... We're Spectre again. Or we can be. It's a relic I don't need. No. We are... Spectre. Shepard. The fact that he can reinstate that is at least... I mean, it's something. Like, that's gotta... That's still gonna carry some weight somewhere. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. <laughs> Listen, hey. we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? Great. I don't need this. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I feel like maybe. I guess he wouldn't be too excited to see us, but you know, yeah, visiting an old friend. Surprised. Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Damn. Sorry about that. Jesus. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I can understand him being bitter because he was, he was the guy, you know, and now he's, now he works, now he works for the guy. Didn't bother me. Why don't you fire him? I mean, he's still useful. He's still smart, right? He's just, you know, a little, a little emotional, a little passionate. <laughs> what do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. I guess that's true. <laughs> the damage to the Citadel, the reigns of Sovereign, the war with the Geth, Ashley Williams. We can ask about Ashley, that's cool. I like how... <laughs> I like how they're just hanging out in the background over there. Just like, all right, we'll wait. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Holy keepers shit. always surprise us, though. <laughs> it's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. So that is what it is. Okay, so I was pretty I was pretty close that it was um like the the keepers are doing their thing, right? But humanity is also like rebuilding it, but the keepers are like perfecting the repairs. Right? Uh Mm. They're just sending out the reins of Sovereign. This one. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Shit. So, <laughs> so, so there's not even enough of wreckage, not enough wreckage of Sovereign to even, like, inspect it. 
Or to even verify a sent God damn it. Last I knew we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. They don't hold the same weight. <laughs> It once did, but we can't rule them out, but yeah, damn. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's interesting. Not while we're working with Cerberus? Curious. Is she working to take down Cerberus? Is she... Is this just like if we know, then somehow... Like Cerberus can find out that we know something? <laughs> How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Yeah, I get that. Because, like, don't get me wrong, I understand why it's easier for a lot of them to just ignore it and block it out and not talk about it and forget it exists. You know, it's a lot less terrifying, <laughs> you know, but still. Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. It's got to be ours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Oh, of course not. Of course not. Even though we're, 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 we're kind of... We're, we have a common goal right now. And that is really the biggest thing. Um, because what happens when we, you know, stop the collectors? You know, then what server is going to do? You know, there's there's still, still questions. Is there anything we can talk Something about? I can do for you, Shepard? I don't know if there will be anything new. I better go. My door is always open. It's just so pretty. <laughs> You're as beautiful as the day I lost you. Like, it's been a while. And it's still... This place is still just... It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, even if the council sucks and <laughs> this isn't going, going too well, it's still... Still cool. Uh, where do we want to go? Mm, well, I know we can we can bring back the ingredients, right? Let's see. Service applications, the care word warehouse, Serta Foundation. Let's go back here because we were here and then I'm just gonna go I wonder what this a way fish would taste like I'm telling you, there are no fish up there. I hear it or not when up there was. oh I should have looked for fish <laughs> I'll be back up there I'll look for some presidium fish that sounds neat ooh 
That's a new shot. <laughs> That's wild. Just like seeing like those are skyscrapers. And just just the <laughs> the sheer size of what the citadel is is still just inconceivably large. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Ah <gasps> You sell models too, but you're not so... Maybe? Or these just happen to be there? Used ship salesman. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. <laughs> With our Unification Day special, you can get up to 2,000 credits back. Such a deal. God, we haven't seen any of these. <laughs> we, I think we only literally met, like... A sm a, like a handful in the first game. Like, literally. <laughs> and I think they were all in the Citadel. Except for, like, one, I think. But, it's just... Uh, it's cool. I love it. They're also fascinating. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. It's just good as hell. <laughs> this cladness is a thief. And I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. Um. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vol Clan need It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, not the best words, but you know. Boring opinion, C sick opinion, Volospin. Well, let's try to solve this. <laughs> Maintain the peace as a specter. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with c -Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chip. <laughs> Oof, maybe the chip fell. You look at chips a lot. <laughs> you ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chip fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Okay, all right, let's figure this out. Do you spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... It's a great idea. It's an ambitious goal. It should be more realistic. A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. <laughs> you know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. <laughs> that's... You know, that's cool. That's a cool little moment. I like that. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. Jesus. <laughs> Just the freight. Uh, you know how Quarians are. Just like, bruh. God damn. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Yeah, maybe you dropped it. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Eesh. Shh. Alright, to just leave it at the store, though. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. Uh huh. Okay. Well. First off, I don't know. We don't know him at all. So it's like you could very well have just left it on the counter. Something like that. But uh, we'll look into this. 
I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Be careful out there. It's like, look, man. We don't need civilian help, however... I have no idea what I'm actually doing, so... Let's see if you dropped it around here. Made a mistake. These guys look cool, though. <laughs> oh. That was just damage floor. Okay. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for a little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Choices. It's about his health. Take care of your child. Ken Laros. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. Great. Inve purchases. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. <laughs> What's your job? If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Though I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a sari to work their stores. Oh, yeah? You don't know why? Uh-huh. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. It's good shit. One endorsement. Are we just going <laughs> to endorse every store around here? For, for, you know what, to save money? Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect... The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Saren. Oh my! You are Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I love it. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our <laughs> advertising at once. Thank you. It's never not funny. That's amazing. Holy shit. Good okay. day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. Do you know anything about? A Volus was in and here. Not, not that too I long. saw. Okay. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. Let's see what do we got here. Metagel capacity. Wait, how much? That's a lot of money. Oh, that's a lot of money. This, however, life support webbing. Within a wearable framework, this Seared Foundation developed... The Serta Foundation developed an innovative net of microstimulants and metagel in order to increase the chances of survival for aid workers and military personnel working in a hostile environment. Health by 10%. Pretty good. Now we can't afford that, but... I think for now we might be okay. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> That's funny. Excellent. Shepard, we know times are tough. Station records show that you made only zero credit last year. If you need something to get you to your next paycheck on error, date not found, lead cause porn and payday loan can help. We offer you 
credit on the spot for personal and home electronic devices, precious metals and jewels, genetic essay data, and virtual intelligences. No credit check, no questions asked. All we need is your citizenship ID. Come down today. <coughs> wow. Sounds like a great deal. This is a public notice that Citadel <laughs> Security will hold an auction of confiscated property in this ward on Earth date, August 4th, 2185 at 08.30 Zulu time. Items to be sold include jewelry, personal electronics, private starships, cargo and sport-related personal shuttles, art, and antiques from various cultures. For more information, visit any CSEC kiosk or link into CitadelNet at keywords CSEC Auctions Zakara. Damn, these really feel like advertisements. <laughs> That sounds hella suspicious. <laughs> At Ion Liquidators, we are different. We don't use high-tech ads that use your name, job history, and marital status to tailor a message just for you. <laughs> I am Keth Mack, owner of Ion Liquidators, and I have only one message. I offer goods and services for less than my competitors. How do I do it? Foreclosures, bankruptcies, store <laughs> closeouts, insurance sales, inexpensive advertising. <laughs> oh my god. Come to Ion Liquidators for cheap goods. I find deals so you don't have to. Damn. What a, what a campaign. Your attention, please. Citadel Security reminds residents and visitors that heightened security precautions are in place for your safety. If approached by a CSEC officer, please be prepared to offer biometric and genetic data for identity confirmation. If you see synthetic unaccompanied by an organic owner, report to the closest CSEC kiosk or link into CitadelNet Keyword CSEC Nightwatch. Remember, we are all responsible for public safety. <laughs> Bro, they just come up to you and they're like, yes, we need biometric and DNA. We're gonna go ahead and take a sample. Make sure we you are who you are. That's terrifying. Jeez. This is uh this is a lot. CSEC. Shepard, we know times are tough. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. <laughs> Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, <laughs> look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. Bruh, he remembers us. That's cool. Not, not that we met, but like that I exist and what I look at. Just, that's cool. Hell yeah. He's so happy. Feels good. On endorsement, you should give me a discount. Now we can earn it. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. Okay. What's your job? If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning <laughs> how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. <laughs> You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. <laughs> you know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled, but I don't 
think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just <laughs> speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love the fact that it's like every store is going to be our favorite store. That's amazing. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm going to look at the stuff first this time. Then we'll ask him about the shit. So, multi-core amplifier. Omni-tool upgrade. 20% tech power damage. 75,000 credits. Holy shit. <laughs> we need more money. I need more money. <laughs> Standard Omni-tools are calibrated with a wide neural input tolerance range so they can be used effectively by any race. By tuning the inputs of the Omni tool to match specific neural patterns of the user, responsiveness and power can be greatly increased. Once tuned in this manner, the Omni tool is almost unusable by anyone but the wearer, and it must be constantly recalibrated to subtle neural shifts. That's seems like a lot of work, but we get that boost. <laughs> Damage protection, a blade of five, six. Shield upgrade. A 10% bonus to shields, barriers, and armor. Ooh. This comprehensive systems upgrade offers improved protection for all squad members, include regardless of team members' individual defensive strategies. That's so useful. 75,000 also. God damn. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to wear that, but that's actually... That's wild looking. The Archon Visor uses an efficiency algorithm to balance processing power for body camps and Omni tools. A heads-up display and voice command software allows users to micromanage the systems, reducing the cooldown period between energy expenditures. Reduces the recharge time of your powers by five percent. Ooh, that's pretty cool. But it seems like only we can equip stuff. So this is all just for us. Not like team based like the first game was. We can like mix and match the gear for everybody. So I don't think I'm going to use this. At least right now. Because I like the one we have gives um, headshot damage. <laughs> so that's nice. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Varanis say was pick up a module. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Jesus. I... Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Yep, I had a feeling he just fucking, fucking left it behind somewhere. Embarrassing. <laughs> Trying to go over here and start a whole shit. My pocket. When I checked my credit. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report. Fucking but I'll con. be watching you. Get a permanent residence or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you, she gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? Listen here, you little shit. You think you're going to run in a specter? I think both of you <laughs> should get out of here. Oh, son of a... That's right. Thank you. I wish I could give you something more than words. That CSEC was an ass. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Bunch of fucking dicks. Well, I'm glad we were here. Because, holy shit, you didn't deserve that. Fuck them both. God damn, fucking trash. Holy shit.
Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? Would it? Tupari, now available with dextro amino acids. Ooh. You could really go for a Tupari sports drink, couldn't you? Tupari, now made with 10% real Tupo berry juice. <laughs> Tupari is made with no natural sweeteners. Oh yeah, get those out of here. Artificial only, baby. I knew a man who went three days without a Tupari sports drink. He got hit by a shuttle. <laughs> Tupari, the taste Salarians have come to love. Oh, man. Nothing wakes you up in the morning like Tupari sports drinks blast of Tupo berry flavor. Oh, my God. Tupari, it's good for you. It's good. It just works. Tupari brings your ancestors back from the grave. Okay, I, that might be a little bit of a stretch. That might, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Nine out of ten Tupari drinkers recommend Tupari to their friends. The last one is on my list. <laughs> we sell so much Tupari, it has to be good. My god, that's really funny. Twelve trillion bottles of Tupari are sold in a day. Where's yours? Oh, that's right. It's inside me. Damn. Trillion a day? That's insane. Tupari, ten minutes of berry bliss for only one credit. One credit. Okay, hold on. Now, now that actually, you know what? Not that might not be too bad. Only losers drink Perigade. You want Tupari? <laughs> Winners drink Tupari. Winners drink Tupari. <laughs> I know you're weakening. Tupari is on your mind. Give in. God, they got a, they they prepared so many advertising lines. Commander Shepard drinks Tapari. Don't you want to be like Commander <laughs> Shepard? Commander Shepard is referenced under license from Alliance Military Recruitment Services. God damn it. <laughs> Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tapari sports drink hit the spot right now? Is there gonna be another one? Tupari. Now available okay. with Dextro Amino Acid. I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, we could just go get it for him. Yeah, Cargus was the, the Krogan dude that was talking about the fish. You like to taste fish from the lakes of the Presidium. So we could go get fish for him. You know what? That actually would be kind of an interesting uh, you could really go development. For a Tupari sports drink, couldn't you? We go this way? It took me a long time to get this it's going to cause problems. Decision, <laughs> he said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? I just... No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. Huh. What's everyone doing down here? Hello? 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 Okay. Not a lot of chatters. Okay. Literally just a warehouse. <laughs> I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need a service order? The wards market? Why would you come to a Zakara ward warehouse? Can I help these guys? He said they're out of stock and I should go here. He didn't say anything about a service order. Without a service order, I really can't help you. Ugh. I, I don't... Can I, can I assist in some way? No? Okay. <laughs> I definitely need more money, but that'll that'll be in time. Let's see. Where else can we go? What can I get you? So we've been here. I guess we can go. Let's go back to the Presidium. Let's try to find their. Uh, go this way. Oh. Source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible terrorist attack by dissidents from former Council races. While no formal statement has been issued, the Council has made formal information requests of the Salarian Special Tasks Group. I need a way to get over there. To 
find the fish. Because uh, we're in the Presidium. Imagine this would be pretty close. This is the main section, this is the lower section. The entrance landing area. So maybe it's here, actually. Like if we go go in here. Nope, it just takes us here. <laughs> okay. Okay. I... How do we get to the fish? How do I get... Call me a fish? Do you think we can get into the Presidium if we went along the outer hall and brush your suits? What? To kill Turians? We can do that here. No, to get a fish out of those lakes. Will you forget the damn fish? Is that a... Is that a hint? How could I possibly... Do I have to go like a specific area? That's what I'm imagining now. <laughs> oh, I gotta figure it out. I gotta find it. Because I'm very... I very much want to get him a fish. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. If you can hit anything. True. Human. Hello. Weapon restrictions, purchases, expeditions. I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Thanks to your kind. We store off-site and deliver directly to ships. Customers never touch a gun while they're on the Citadel. Make as many laws as you like, human. We'll always find loopholes. Oh, okay. All right. I'm feeling it now. I'd like to buy something. Then use the catalog kiosk like everyone else. Okay. okay. It's very angry. I understand. Tell me about your services. I sell guns. I don't think humans need any more than they already have. Okay. Fair. Is this even going to work? Excuse me. What? Look. I know our races aren't on the best of terms. You are kin slayers. Your Admiral Hackett let the Council die. There's nothing I can do about that. What I can do is stop the Geth from attacking again. You hunt Geth? Geth, pirates, mercenary scum, all over the Terminus. That's dangerous game. I don't like your kind, but I'll help the enemy of my enemy. I'll give you a discount, but I'll deny it if word gets around. Thank you. <laughs> Just get the hell out of here before I change my mind. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Sniper rifle damage, 50,000. Okay, so we definitely have to come back here for these. Especially these two. Offhand ammo pack. A simple but popular modification developed by the Elkos... Com com oh, the Elkos Combine. And favor among mercenary groups and military personnel on active assignment. Spare ammo capacity by 10%. Pretty good. Ooh, the Aegis Vest. Casa Fabrications line of elite personnel protection equipment includes a series of interlocking ceramic plates covered in a proprietary tungsten alloy weave for maximum stopping power. Health by 5%. It's kind of cool looking. Oh, shit. Hello. <sighs> I might get this, but this. The incisor is one of a new wave of military and police sniper rifles designed to overload active defenses such as shields, firing three shots with each pull of the trigger. Oh, that's going to get tricky. The incisor's burst is so fast that all three rounds will be in the target by the time the barrel has moved a millimeter. Oh, really fast. <laughs> Increasing its stopping power without sacrificing accuracy. 
As an added benefit, the noise of the burst is comparable to a single rifle shot in duration, making it no easier to locate the sniper by sound. Well, I gotta get it. <laughs> A sentry interface. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. <laughs> This visor works with the Sentry system, a software application that optimizes an, armor's, an armor suit's microframe computer. When the Sentry system is running, more power can be devoted to shield management. Increase shield strength by 5%. Whoa. <laughs> That's wild. Umbra visor. A next generation night vision device that assists targeting. By detecting the focal point of the wearer's eyes, and enhancing the image at that location, the visor helps direct a biotic power or a shot from an omni tool directly where the air wearer is looking. Damn. Super accurate. 5% power damage. I feel like this would be good to have. Because I don't think I'd have to equip it, right? It would just be standard, maybe? We'll find out. Uh, I'll get this. i save the rest of my money. <laughs> Not that we have much, but you know what I mean. Whatever we do have. And then... Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Good lord. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? <laughs> Get two credits toward a new game. <laughs> oh god, it's space GameStop. Shit. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. Yo. <laughs> for ten credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. Whoa. Those Asari Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba are really nasty. <laughs> what a sentence. You have anything else to say? You want to talk? Okay. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was playing this fascinating human game, Solitaire. Did you need something? I, I guess not. I wish they still made role-playing games like they used to. These days, it's all big choices and visceral combat. I miss those old games where you had to remember to drink water, and it took five hours real time to fly somewhere. Oh my god, this fucking guy. That's funny. Do you have an account with us? If you open one, we have a special this month. You can download a game free. It's so... There's so many layers to this guy. The worst thing about Extranet <laughs> games is when some Batarian comes on and insists on speaking his own language without auto-translation. <laughs> the worst. I don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Jesus. It's too self-aware. You know anyone who plays that extra net game, Third Coil? <laughs> Me neither. You sure hear about it a lot in the news, though. <laughs> I know it looks like I'm not working, but there's only so many times you can sweep the place. It's always if like, games nope. are still available on OSD, I could alphabetize the racks or something. I love how, like, most of the people that have jobs here, well, basically all of them that we've met so far, don't really need to exist there except for returns and for basic interaction do you play those human sports games they sell well in the alliance and to krogan have you tried galaxy of fantasy yet i love that game. <laughs> it's based on turian mythology but it's really fun i hear it has 11 billion players now I gotta lie, that was a fun. That, <laughs> that was cool. That was interesting. Wow. What a guy. What a guy. Such a. <laughs> such a funny character to actually just add it in. So. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. No fucking way. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, <laughs> Westerland News. 
I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre? You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> I'd never forget. I was like, there's no fucking way it's the same chick. You made me look bad. Yes, I remember. Am I supposed to know you? <laughs> what, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bath, your news. I just want to give your story its due. I don't believe you. Not even for a second. <laughs> Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. <sighs> it's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrificing nearly 10,000 lives, including the previous Citadel Council. I'm not doing this. I don't need this garbage. Ah, oh, damn, I should have fucking interrupted it. God damn it. Uh, damn, we created an opportunity. It was time for us to find our own path. I was a colonist. I know how hard the galaxy can hit. That day wasn't about spite. It was about standing up. But what about interspecies relations? We have a new council, new friends. We took a tragic vacuum and created an opportunity. Unless you're saying humanity and our many partner species don't deserve that chance to excel. Don't insult them. It's beneath you. <laughs> Damn. Shut that shit down real Commander quick. Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get, bitch. That's what you fucking get for trying to pull a fast one twice. Not anymore. <laughs> Dark Star Lounge. Let's gonna check that out too. Okay, we got we got a, we got you a few things to do. Like to trade in? You get two credits toward Still have some. Some places to see. Cause Dark Star Lounge, and then gotta find out how to get the fish. I gotta find out those fish. I gotta find them. <laughs> how to get up there? How to get over to the waters in the Presidium? Because right now it's just. Uh, just Anderson's office, so um yeah, I don't know, there's gotta, there's gotta be a path right, maybe maybe from the Normandy, and we take it around, I don't know, but I'll find out we're gonna pick this up in the next episode so, thank you very so much for watching for real, I really appreciate it and let me know what you guys think about all this the council, well, the current state of the council the, the, I mean, I did all this this is all my fault I, I've pissed off everybody. Like, this was so bad. <laughs> like, the council doesn't listen to Anderson. The 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 alliance has basically taken such a power stance that all the other races fucking hate humanity, and the Citadel is now this really uncomfortable place for humans. And it's just like fucking, what happened? What did I? God damn it. <laughs> so, living with my choices. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>